on ABC 24 News, meteorologist Chelsea Chandler with the Mid-South Certified Most Accurate Forecast. All right, well, it is definitely a cold day where we want to, well, cold start today. Let's start there. You definitely want a jacket as you head out. We're dressing for two seasons. It's that time of year. We're in the 40s for the most part right now, the mid to upper 40s to low 50s. So it is crisp. You might enjoy a nice run, uh, but you also might enjoy just sitting out on the patio and drinking your coffee. Regardless, you definitely want a jacket as you head out. Temperatures close to 20 degrees cooler than we were this time yesterday as that cold front was approaching. Now it's moving. It's already moved through and we have that cool air that's coming in behind it. So you're going to feel it if you're out and about. Uh, it's around 53 at 9 o'clock, sunshine across the board, so that's good. But we didn't have any cloud coverage overnight, so we didn't have any kind of blanket. Uh, but we will tonight. So as we'll see, our temperatures climbing up to the mid to upper 60s. Again, a little bit of cloud coverage begins to build as we head towards the evening. Still no rain chances, though, until we get a little bit later in the week. Now, let's talk about tonight. Maybe you have plans. I don't know what goes on on Tuesday, but if you're doing things, no rain involved. But again, cloud coverage builds 63 at 7, 57 by 9 o'clock. So rain chances, they've changed drastically. Nothing today, 50% tomorrow, 80% Thursday, 40 Friday. The Halloween weekend still looks good with isolated chances as we start off November. So all right, we're under high pressure right now, which means sunshine, dry skies, and warmth, which we're about to see. But then this guy is going to bring some big changes to the forecast. This low pressure system, you'll see that counterclockwise spin, and that purple is what is called an occluded front because we get a little warmth, we get a little bit of cool. So again, we're going to see that happening. Here's a look at your long range forecast. You can expect the rain really to start in the evening tomorrow, carrying us overnight, mostly while we're sleeping, but you can see that uh, spin involved. We uh, look like we may dodge some rain uh, early in the morning on Thursday, but most of it coming in through as we head through the rest of the afternoon. But you can see this is a long range model, so just know that we may be dodging uh, some rain as we head into the rest of the week, but the impact from that front will be uh, seen pretty quickly. So 68 today, 52 tomorrow, which means we still, most of us will still be in the 40s. 71 on Wednesday, which again is where we should be. We have this system come through, it brings us that rain. We start to see it dropping a little bit and then bam, 59 for your high on Friday. Saturday and Sunday look good, but we're waking up each morning in the 40s. So it is gonna be pretty cold for us. So uh, if you're trick or treating, I would probably do it early or be like my mom. My mom always made a very bodysuit under whatever whatever I was wearing if it was cold. That way, um, otherwise, find a cute coat that matches your outfit. Otherwise, check this out. Monday, 63 with a high of, that's right, 37 excuse me, a low of 37 degrees. Yikes. Let's talk about the roadways. Uh, only two issues right now if you are headed out and about for that morning.